Uh, hello guys, I'm just uh, working on the Tetronix scope here. And uh, just to give you a size comparison, my computer is there, which is uh, very, very large compared to me. And um, there's the size of the actual scope. So, there you go. Anyway, I thought I just wanted to show you something, which was pretty funny. If you look on this plug-in board here, let me just grab this. Um, the last person who uh, got this before me, and has had it for many years, has replaced the tubes with the wrong type. And I just thought it'd be funny to mention, as trying to put this plug-in into the scope, actually <laughs> uh, disconnects the tubes, pulls them out of circuit. They're electrically the same for 6AU6. However, it is certainly not the right size by any means. Oh god, now I'm going to have to put this somehow down. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I just thought it was funny to mention that. Uh, and also, I've done pretty good on recapping it, but there's still plenty more to go for. Just to show you, I don't know. So there's three multi-section electrolytic capacitors. I'm not sure if all the multi-section, uh, multi I can't remember. Um, quite a lot of elms, but you know, that's part of the course. But, the thing that is pretty funny, um, on the other side, where's most of the power supply uh, stuffs are, which would be pretty hard for me to get to. Perhaps the camera can see that. Nonetheless, um, there's about <laughs> five multi-section electrolytics on top of many, many other capacitors hidden. Here's also the massive CRT again, compared to my hand, as shows you. Uh, that's all for now. I'll update in the video in a bit.